Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. For a lot of us small creators, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has been a staple into our growth as channels. And for a lot of other people, it's been their staple for who they are as a content creator as far as just Pokemon Go. But is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as a game, as its own individual IP, losing its hype? Let's talk about it. So as I was opposing the question before, is the hype for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet dying within the community, specifically the Pokemon community? But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you like the video and comment down below what you think on the topic at hand. So as far as like my opinion goes uh, as the hype for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it did honestly give me more play value because typically when I play Pokemon games growing up, I would beat it within the weekend that I got the game and then I would be done with it. I never completed the Pokedex until I got the Pokemon Sword, and then also Scarlet, which is the games that I got out of the two for each. It doesn't give me a whole lot of replayability as a game, but as a content creator, we decided to try it out, and for honestly, for small streamers, especially on the YouTube side, it really did make a buff for a lot of us content creators on the platform. But I do think Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are dying as a community. There's only so many shinies you can get. There's only so many things in the game that you can do. As far as Pokemon battling, shiny hunting, raids, the seven star raids specifically that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet keep putting out. And then of course, they drop the Paradox Pokemon. But the biggest letdown, I think that's not just me, but the Pokemon community as a whole, that's kind of a rip into our love for the game is this the pokemon scarlet and violet dlc part one well it's discovering area zero but the teal mask part one and the indigo disc part two they're amazing as dlcs in general well we won't really know until we get more information uh but just the pokemon alone that are coming and then the two new pseudo legendaries that are going to be a part of the dlc as well is pretty dope like i like it i think it's going to be great but the release dates is what kind of hurt me i'm just only speaking from my experience i did impose the question onto my chat to see what they felt and an overwhelming majority of them were actually excited about the new DLC. But for me, and a lot of us other content creators, and also just love for the game itself, the wait for this DLC, is, it's it's not looking good there, Game Freak. Just to have a little bit of a reference, Pokemon Sword and Shields DLC, the first one, came out in June, the following year after Pokemon Sword and Shields release date. So about six months, six, seven, however, you know, the difference between November and <laughs> June is I don't feel like doing the math right now. This, we don't even have an official confirmed release date for these DLCs. It's just fall 2023 and winter 2024. Winter 23 to 24, because the way Japan sees winter is kind of confusing, but makes sense given that winter is from December to February, so I can kind of understand it. That is an extreme long wait time for Pokemon DLC, especially when the only thing they are adding to the game to kind of keep players playing the game is the Paradox Pokemon they released, which is the Paradox Suicune and the Paradox Verizium, and then the seven star raids, which are fun to a point. And I know that I have every everyone to thank who has been a part of our channel for our growth thus far since we started back again in September because of Pokemon. But there's only so much we can do to continue to keep playing this game and giving people content surrounded by the game. Now we do keep streaming it whenever the seven star raids come out and we have a blast with our chat. But the hype around Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is kind of meh. I wish they would do kind of more different things like free updates that aren't just seven star or six star raids to give you a whole bunch of things to be able to play the game. Because honestly, in this game, they make shiny hunting extremely easy. I mean, I know my buddy um, well, we got in the uh, grim part of the channel. He was getting shinies left and right while he was still traversing just the main game before he even got the shiny charm before this, before that. And then when we started actually shiny hunting with chat and on our own, we were getting shinies left and right. And I know a lot of people of part of our chat have gotten shinies left and right super easily, have boxes just full of them, regardless of if it's, you know, for legal reasons, legit or not. It's, you know, but I believe if they want to give us the hype back on the game, not just Pokemon Homecoming over so we can start playing some more raids with our legendaries and our other starter Pokemon and whatever Pokemon they decide they're giving over from Pokemon Home, they need to also have free updates as well to kind of gauge us into what we're eventually going to get in the DLC just to keep us attentive. Because Pokemon games since its inception has not been one of those games that you pick up and play and keep doing more things without keep doing more things within that narrative. Playing it over and over again it has a lot of replayability from start to finish. But as we started getting going, as we started getting more and more into the newer versions of the titles and branching out as far as as far as continuing to one save file 
doing more and more things, exploring, and all that fun jazz, they don't really have that, and they never have had that outside of shiny hunting. And now they're, you know, the seven star raids that they're adding every so often. I will give them one credit. They made the seven star raids shorter, like of getting them instead of having only two well you still get two a month but the space between them isn't as silly as it was between for charizard uh cinderus and greninja but as far as hype around pokemon scarlet and violet it's not as grandiose as it was when we were all really just enjoying the game as a whole and doing seven star raids and doing the paradox raids getting together doing shiny hunting and doing competitions and battles and everything together with friends with chats as far as content streamers and stuff like that content creators and stuff like that go <laughs> the overall hype pokemon scarlet and violet is dying and if game freak really wants it to start becoming like you know other titles like Fortnite, Halo, all those games that have a singular story have so much playability to it. They really got to start adding a lot more content if they're going to have such a gigantic spacing between the game release itself and the DLC. This isn't Horizon Forbidden West, where you can have this big grandiose story and then a year later finally come out with DLC for it because people, not a lot of people want to go back and do that, but I think that's why. That's that's a whole different topic, why they made the Horizon Forbidden West free um, last month, I believe, uh, for PlayStation Plus users. But we're talking about Pokemon. That's just my opinion. You know, I think the the overall hype for Pokemon is for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet specifically is dying. You're going to have DLC come out around the fall, which is typically when they release another title. That's if Game Freak and Nintendo are going to be releasing another like remake or whatever they're going to be planning on doing another Legends game, which there's a lot and a lot of rumors still going around about those. But that's the video. That's my opinion. And I basically pass it off to y'all. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet hype is dying have y'all started transitioning over to other titles especially when you hear from the crew that's always in playing pokemon with us from our channel and some of the new people who are just finding us for the first time what are your thoughts have you put the game down have you started playing other things do you only come back for the seven star raids what do you wi wish game freak pokemon scarlet and violet and nintendo would do to kind of keep creating hype around this title until they release the dlc because i know i'm gonna play it I'm going to hate myself for it. Waiting that long, pick it back up again, or not get rid of the game whatsoever for a new title that's exciting and, you know, stuff like that. But <laughs> what do y'all think? I really want to know. But thank you guys for coming in. Thank you guys for watching so much, um, creating more of these Let's Talk About titles. So if you like the video, please hit the like button. If, actually, if you dislike my opinion, hit the dislike button. I would really like to know. <laughs> it's weird, but, you know to each their own i suppose and hit that subscribe button as well to stay tuned in with us and our pokemon and other content creating endeavors as always my name is dead poet i'll catch you guys latest